Welcome back. The FDA has approved a gene therapy treatment from Bluebird Bio and at a cost of $2.8 million per patient, it will become the most expensive drug in America. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamani is here to discuss. Anjali, big price tag. Big price tag and now puts the original most expensive drug, Novartis's Zolgensma, down to second place. So that is really, you know, telling the tale of what many had expected gene therapies to do. Because the way that they really calculate this is that what you're getting from gene therapy is like a one-shot, one-time, lifetime help, rather than, you know, the way treatments have worked over time, which is repetitive doses, monthly, weekly, whatever it may be. And so this is where these these high price tags are coming from. But of course, uh, it comes on the heels of what we saw in Congress and, you know, President Biden signing the Inflation Reduction Act, looking at price negotiations, especially for Medicare, uh, you know, targeting the top 10 uh, most expensive drugs. And so it, it really just tells the tale of what's going on with the healthcare world and with the drug pricing today when you're looking at what kind, what these sort of subsects of medicines are and how pricing is really going to be affecting moving forward and, and really brings to light some of the concerns that many had uh, in the discussions about drug pricing of where we'll see those rises in pricing as well. I mean, it, it's really, it's not, we're talking about two very, very different situations. When you're talking about Medicare yes. and drugs that we don't even know what drugs are on the list yet, by the way, that Correct. are going to be eligible for negotiation. But you're talking about drugs that are probably drugs that are required for um, for chronic illnesses. Whereas, as you said, I mean, these are chronic illnesses, too. These are for people who are to have to get blood transfusions on a very, very frequent basis. So it's pretty amazing that this is something that could be cured, right? And life-changing, obviously, for these people. I don't know what my question is. I just find this story so fascinating. It is. No, it is. And, and you know, when, we, when we're talking about that, right, from the price perspective, it's also about how drug companies are thinking about how to price these therapies. It is a new, new front, really, when it comes to, you know, that long-term reduction and, and really speaks to sort of where these companies are looking. That's where they're looking for their big bucks is in these rare uh, disorders. So, so those who are impacted by this, there's a, a grand total patient population of something like 1,500 wow. uh, individuals alone who can be impacted by this. So this is this is where they've been going to get uh, you know the, these really big paying blockbuster drugs. So why aren't Bluebird shares up? They were up, I believe, in pre market trading. Right. This would seem to be a game changer for them. Is this a company that has never had a product? And on the market before? Yeah, and also I want to point out that uh, in the same category, right, there's, a, there's been a lot of discussion about biotechs and about how high they're pricing their drugs and also what the potential long-term impact mm -hmm. is, right? So Zolgensma, like I, I spoke about that one, that recently uh, had some negative news uh, about two deaths related to it. So there's been a lot of discussion around this topic, and there, there really seems to be a lot more focus on pricing, a lot more focus on biotechs in general. They had a record year last year, right, when we're talking about even those without products on the market. And Bluebird was actually one of those that people were keeping an eye on uh, all through last year, and everyone was riding that wave. And now there seems to be a little bit of a pullback on the enthusiasm around these, these biotechs. So that's sort of where we're seeing that, as you can see on your screen, right? Like a, just a lot of impact there. Yeah, Bluebird down close to 8% uh, out of the gate here. Anjali Kamani, thanks so much. Appreciate it.